You know that feeling you get after a kick-ass camp trip that stays with you for days and weeks after? Well, this was one of those trips. I haven't had that feeling in ages. I've been all over the state in the last couple years, but this weekend's trip really resonates in my brain. I've been wanting to get up around this Sedona Flagstaff area for quite some time, and I was finally able to make it happen. This was the most beautiful camping I've done yet, with some awesome people and I'm really stoked to bring this one to you. This weekend we were continuously battered by rain and ran into a couple of mishaps, but most of the time negative experiences make for the best memories. As always, my name's Cody and this is another episode of the White Dog Overland Experience. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Good morning guys and welcome back to another episode of the White Dog Overland Experience. We are back in the cinders this morning. We got in really late last night about 9 30 10. Drove all the way up here from Tucson, hit a bunch of traffic, rain, and speaking of rain that is why I'm currently sitting in the tent. We got a big storm rolling in. Tons of wind came in about 3 in the morning. Really glad I put the rain fly up, but this wind is just atrocious. So I'm gonna get this thing packed up, try to get on the road pretty soon here because I'm getting hungry. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I'm getting ready for breakfast. And I'm thinking maybe we'll try to get off this knob that we're on right now. We kind of camped up top, so it's kind of in a wind tunnel. So we're gonna go back down to the bottom, see if we can find a cut between a saddle and maybe pop out the stove and get some breakfast going. All right, well, we just decided to take a quick stop. The rain let up, so it's breakfast time. We're both real hungry. This guy's a bodybuilder, so he <laughs> eats about every every hour. Um, this is Jack. I met him at a Subaru meet last week. I was trying to recruit people to come out and camp, and uh, all my friends keep bailing on me, so I had to go to Subaru meets to find people. But uh, he's out here. I'm just kidding. He's a good friend of mine. I've been itching to get him out for a long time. Um, this is his first big overland trip. God, I'm so shaky. Look at how, <laughs> like, I really need some, I really need some glucose. You gotta make some breakfast. Gotta make some breakfast. So, yeah, this is his first big trip. The Subaru is doing wonderful. <laughs> Amazingly. And he's gonna have to do a walkthrough on it eventually, because this thing is rad. <laughs> but, yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast in us.
We jumped the highway and got on White Horse Trail moving west towards Mount Humphrey. I always saw this area of the mountain driving north and thought it would be a great area to explore. The roads were mellow and there was not a soul in sight. The clouds were starting to move out and the rain was gone and it was a perfect day for exploring the backcountry. Just let it work. These crossovers are really, really impressive though. The new Subarus do great. This one has the X mode. He didn't, you didn't engage it at all, did you? No, I haven't used it yet. Yeah, it did really good. I mean, as long as you keep all four tires on the ground, sometimes you gotta teeter up obstacles, but did really good. I'm super impressed. It's a nice little rig. Just goes to show you, you really don't need much to get out here and do this, as I always say. If you'd like to see more on the Crosstrek build, Jack's dad has a great channel which breaks down all the mods and specs done to the rig. The channel name is Rick Hutton, and you should really check it out. That was sick. Yeah. Good job, bro. That was dope. Oh. Got some battle damage here. Oh, a little skid plate bumping right there. This man got his first battle scar. <laughs> a lot of you I know would cry, but you're just not Jack, so. Ooh, yeah, look at the chunks taken out of this bastard. Oh yeah, we got oh some chunks God. out of there. Picked up some rocks. Yeah, some of you would get really upset. Like I said, you're just not Jack. Jack saw the scratch and he's like, man, this is the first of many. It is. We were now in search of a camp spot before the rain moved in. We headed west towards the rim, which I figured had less camping action as the roads were slightly more difficult. It was Memorial Weekend, and I knew if we didn't get into camp early, there might not be anything scenic to occupy. Even though I was pushing time, I had to stop and check out some abandoned cabins along the way.
walk over here and check out this cabin. Hantavirus. Danger Hantavirus may be in this building. Wild. Crazy. I don't want Hantavirus. I bet this was built early 1900s maybe. It might not be as old as it looks. Pretty wild. And they got the outhouse over there, right there. Don't go in. Nope, me No. Just a barn. That's crazy. There's a saddle stand there. up the rest of this road we stopped at the cabin for lunch my truck moves a little bit faster than the cross trek and I'm kind of hoping that I can find a spot out here on the rim that overlooks Sedona I thought this cabin overlooks Sedona but the topo map told me otherwise so here we are I'm moving up the road if this doesn't work I have one more spot um, and if this is good I'm gonna go back and get Jack all right I just pulled in here oh yeah Oh, I think this will do here. That's a nice view, I will say. I think I'll go back and get Jack. Dude, I know. Not quite the edge of the world, but. Still. <laughs> what the heck? Pretty sweet. Oh, look how steep that is. What the heck is. What is in this hole? I'm not flipping the flip pack up tonight because we're going to get a gnarly storm and that rain fly kept me up all night. That was not pleasant, so I'm not doing that again. Here's your fucking firewood. Big old boy. I can I can hardly see you. Really? Yeah, it's barely showing up in the camera. Oh, that looks like a freaking twilight shot right there. With the white dog and but I can't I can't think of a way to capture this. No. It's, it's, you can't. You can't cuz it's like not only is it a visual, but it's also like almost an emotion. Yeah, you have to feel this. Yeah. Yeah. If only you all could feel this and <laughs> I know some of you who could be here right now, but you're not, so you can't feel this. Careful, Mila. Careful. 
it is really coming down now. Um, of course, we just got a fire going, but what are you going to do? So the rain finally quit. It's been about an hour. Um, Jack went to sleep. He is exhausted. This is his first big 4x4 four four trip, and if you know anything, it takes it out of you. But it's been really nice and cozy in here with this ginormous dog taking up all my space. Um, but I think I'm going to get outside. I need some dinner, and I'm going to get the fire going again because I have somebody rolling in tonight. Um, he should be here in about an hour. So I'm going to get things done, and we will see you when he gets here. By the look of this one, I don't think she's getting out. Mila, you want to get out? Mila, you want to get out? I don't know if I'm going to get this one to fire up, but... What's up, bro? Slick, dude. How you What's doing, up? man? Yeah, how Good you? to see you, man. I know, nice to finally oh, meet you. Oh, actually, yeah, I've never seen you. Nice yeah, to for fucking real. meet you. I feel like I could talk to you all the time. <laughs> for real, seriously. Yeah, it was, a, it was a little slick. What else? You got the Sierra Ancas. Mm -hmm. Sierra Ancas are close. But, like, Tucson, you can drive 45 minutes and you're in the pines. Right. It's totally. Super nice. Freight. Yeah? <laughs> Harbor well, Freight? Harbor Freight lights, baby. Yeah, because they're, they're perfect. They're battery powered, too. Oh, yeah. That was what I wanted. First GFC on the channel. Oh, dude, it's great. I love it. I've been really happy with it. I don't have many complaints about it, and the complaints I have are more based on my truck itself. Right. Um, the Tundra frame just moves around too much, so mm -hmm. like, you kind of start to break latches on the go fast, which is annoying. But yeah. And that's not a like that's not a fault of go fast. It's a fault of my truck. Right. Go up. This is what happens when you wheel all day in a Subaru. Such a trip to see two rock warriors out here. Gotta make sure I hop in the right one. Just talking to the camera. It's that influencer life. This thing is so cool. A lot cleaner than mine. Oh my God. For like damn near 12 hours. <laughs> That's so crazy. I mean, uh, oh, you don't recognize me, dog? For real? That that mattress better be comfy. <laughs> so he says. It's pretty good. I give it some credit. Being is such a move. Dude, I want to get a little, uh, uh, what are they called? The electric they look like the off the cliff off the cliff no off shot, that baby. rock literally 100 the big shot. dump <laughs>
I've been trying to get out with Caleb for a while now, but our schedules just haven't worked out. Not only did I want to check out his Rock Warrior build, but pick his brain more about the industry. He works the marketing and e-commerce for Adventure Imports out of Prescott. They're a massive retailer for Max Trax recovery boards, as well as many other recovery essentials, and if you've never heard of them, you should check them out. I just had an absolute catastrophic turn of events. This dog puked all over my back seat. I went over here to clean it and my tire gate broke. My heim joint completely sheared off. So that's uh, that's American quality right there. <laughs> so sometimes I am smart and uh, here's the sheared bolt. But I went and I threw an extra heim joint. This one's bent, but uh, it's gonna do the trick. So we'll fix this and then uh, I got Jack cleaning the throw up. Oh, ooh, that looked like oh it did something special. Wow, that is super elevated over there. Oh shit, is it? Yeah. Uh, All right, fellas got me situated. We got a ratchet on there. It's pretty ratchet. It's pretty ratchet. The, this heim is bent, so I can't get enough uh, thread down on the jam nut, so the angle's up, but. We'll, we'll finish fixing it at camp, like Yeah, yeah, we'll finish her up. It'll be all right. East Pocket Lookout is apparently closed, so now we're just gonna go find a uh, good camp spot. We'll see. Well, I was really hoping this spot would work out because it's got a hell of a vista. It's beautiful that way, but these guys over here camping a quarter mile up the way are blasting off high caliber rounds. That's a pretty good indicator of what the rest of the night's gonna be like responsible not at all we're right over like a hiking trail right here so i'm not going to deal with that we're going to move on to another spot
I'm not good either. The only thing I know how to cook is like a ribeye. Yeah. And this right here. Honestly, it's so easy. So easy. You got in there beans? Beans, yeah. Fire. I forgot to bring like rice. Did you bring like one of those microwave rice things? Oh yeah, the fucking the bags. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Whatever you can do. Huh? Whatever you can do to simplify. Literally. Honestly, it just like makes it better, especially when you're camping. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Whatever is easy and quick. I try and like actually cook well when I'm out. Yeah. I'm like so over the freeze dried food and shit. Oh yeah. I don't do the freeze dried, but mm -hmm. I can't say I cook well. Well, here comes the rain again, right on schedule. Six o'clock last night is like six o'clock the night before, so might take refuge in our big old campers here shortly. Ooh, the man is here. here. Oh yeah. It's oh man, cold. dude, that thunder is rolling in. Finally gone. Stop. <laughs> Howdy. How's your trip? Stop, dude. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Be good. Magically threw a swing on on. This is I definitely need to get one of these. Need. It's a necessity. It's not. A, it's not a want. It's a those. need at this point. I need one of those. Yeah, it's just like when we're chilling in a big group mm -hmm. and a storm rolls in. It's it's important. It's chill. It's super chill. So chill. It's just chill. like I don't something about like hanging out in the rain, camping. Right. Oh, it's so nice. The best. If only it was snowing. Yeah, but <laughs> that's coming uh, soon. It's coming down. Oh yeah. I might sleep down here, Loki. Honestly. Yeah, I do. It's not. It's not gonna last a while, but it's gonna come in hot and heavy for like an hour, I think. Yeah, it's only six. It'll clear up around eight, I bet. But this is a lot of rain. Yeah. I was before. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Oh, hey, dude. <laughs> Just till I can make it faster. There. Perfect. What's right. up, dude? I'm out. <laughs> All right, man. Keep me posted. Yeah, I'd love like to see you guys again. I'm fucking down, bro. We're in the car. Absolutely. I'll talk to you soon. Later. Send me yeah, some pictures when you get a ride. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Enjoy. Let me you get photos out of it. I will. No, it'll be like tomorrow, probably. Hell yeah. Drive safe, dude.